My name is David Messa. I'm the Chief Knowledge Architect at Johnson Space Center in Houston. Uh, my primary role is to develop and implement the technological roadmap that allows us to turn our data into actionable knowledge. Well, I'm a database developer from way back. And one of my functions uh, several years ago was to, to look at our lessons learned database, try to understand how we can improve upon it and how we can actually search through it and find it a lot faster. Uh, it was currently in a SQL database and it was very difficult to find information. As part of my role is, is looking at the technology, technology that's out there, I came across graph databases, started reading up on them and found this little company called Neo4j at that time. Uh, and I started looking into the capabilities of utilizing that primarily because at Johnson Space Center, we utilize, we work with a lot of engineers. And that visualization aspect of the graph made it a lot easier for engineers to see the data and to, and to actually get the connections between the data. Uh, so it was kind of a, uh, fortuitous event uh, that led me to that, looking at the project that allowed me to start playing with and working with a graph database uh, and eventually settled on Neo4j as a graph database that I wanted to use. Some surprising results using a graph database. I think part of it is the speed uh, of being able to pull information out of a, uh, or quickly pull information out of a lot of data that's there. Uh, I've noticed that the queries run a lot faster than I have with, within my uh, SQL databases. Uh, but the biggest concept is to be able to see the connections across information that you, you wouldn't normally see. Uh, so for example, when you do a, uh, do a query and you get your result sets back, normally you get pages upon pages upon pages of data. I did the same thing within a Neo4j graph database. I did a search in utilizing a correlation analysis to look at different topics. And these topics were connected based on their values. Uh, where I may have seen that same thing in a result set from a standard keyword based search on the 10th or 11th page, it popped up right away, allowing me to see the connection between some comment, some topics that were just by name alone were very looked very differently but was inside of that had information that was relevant to the topic that I was looking for. One of the things I, I think when I, when I think about Neo4j is to, is to really get an understanding for how Cypher works. Um, I, I tended to, to just look at the, the examples. Uh, it would have, it would have behooved me and I would have probably got to, to up to speed a lot faster if I would have really focused on Cypher and understanding how that works within graph databases. Uh, but again, remember I started working with these things when they were 1.0 command line interfaces. Uh, nowadays they've got so much information, so much community. Get involved in the community too uh, would be something I would, that I would suggest to any newbie. Uh, and don't be afraid to ask questions of those people because it's a very helpful community and they can provide you fat answers a lot quicker, which gets you up to speed a lot faster. When, when I look at Neo4j, one of the things I like about it, at least what, what, what resonates with me is, is the visualization capabilities. Being able to see a large amount of data in on one page and the connections between that and being able to visualize uh, how those entities or, the, or those nodes are related to each other, to see where my my hubs are, where uh, where I need to improve upon, uh, not only what, what, what I have, what's, what's missing. Uh, it helps me, especially in some of the research we do, um, it can tell us where we're missing research and where we need to improve upon. I think graph databases are, go are going to expand. Um, the hard part right now, of course, is taking, trying to rebuild your infrastructure to go from a traditional relational database management system to a uh, graph database, uh, especially in the type budgets that we have. Uh, so, so what I have to do is show the value graph databases present and how quickly and how fast we're able to g get information, how we can provide connections across these databases uh, a lot faster. Um, so once I show that, I think the, eventually the graph databases will start to exp explode in how we utilize it, not only in, in the ent enterprise, but also in small projects because they provide a, a vast amount of uh, useful resources within small projects to help you develop those projects faster uh, in, on time and within budget.
I just think I'm excited to see the new things that Neo4j is coming up with, especially the ability of multi-instances databases within uh, coming up in 4.0. Uh, and I really am looking forward to seeing where we take the visualization aspect of Neo4j to the next level. Uh, what types of uh, graph apps are going to be available uh, and the community is going to develop from that.